Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode from my kitchen. Today I am going to prepare um, salads. We are having uh, barbecue outdoors. It's a really nice day today so we decided to cook up a barbecue for the family and enjoy the sunshine outside. So for the very first time I'm going to make the Cook Island uh, mayonnaise or mayonnaise whatever um, you call it excuse me um, our cookie uh, friends and families if I pronounce it wrong but I am following my auntie favorites this is your recipe I'm using like I said it's my first time making it so this is her recipe and I hope I am doing it the right way uh, but if I am doing it the wrong way please comment below and let me know what I should do. Uh, like I said, it's the first time I have done this uh, Cook Island popular potato salad, which is Cook Island mayonnaise. Let's start cooking. So I will start with that and then I'll also be making a salad to eat our barbecue with. Okay, first of all, I'm going to start with preparing the mayonnaise from scratch, which is oil and one egg and I will add a bit of salt as well and then I'll beat that wow super quick I think I'm gonna start making my own mayonnaise from home Thank you Auntie Faye for your recipe. I, uh, I always call her Auntie Faye because she reminds me of my, my auntie and her um, personality and her sense of humour. Uh, but I hope she doesn't mind. <laughs> okay, so there's the mayonnaise. Literally a few seconds. I think I need to do a bit more. So that's it, put that on the side, we use all those goodies in there, don't want to waste all that, it's precious and it's money too, <laughs> so I want to waste food, I'll put that aside for now, I have Good amount of potatoes, about five to six potatoes I chopped up and boiled and I'm going to use the Japanese mayonnaise. I will add that to the salad and I'll use that for the, the top. Okay. Start with that first, and then I'll mix it through. I'm also adding the main one, which is a troop chopped up, and then some mixed veggies. Ooh, look at that! Would be a nice colourful salad. I think I'm falling in love already with this uh, I, I love it. I used to, um, um, every time I go to functions, I would always go hard out with this potato salad, but I didn't know how to make it. And this is my very first time making it. So, wow. I'm gonna mix it thoroughly. Yeah. 
So I had potatoes and then I had chopped eggs and then I added the mayonnaise, the Japanese mayonnaise plus the chopped beetroot, can of chopped beetroot and mixed veggies. I hope it's mixed through okay. Wow, look at that. I'm going to add a little bit more of the mayonnaise. So judging from that, I think I've used a cup and a half of the mayonnaise. Or could be more. So good. Thank you, Auntie Faye, for sharing your recipe. Now, I'm going to taste our mayonnaise. I needed to add the lemon too, I believe. Maybe I've added last. Um, So I have our lettuce here. I'm going to do it exactly as Auntie Faye did with her demo. I'm excited with this, having this barbecue. And then I'm going to dish out the mayonnaise on the other plate. I have a lot of Cook Island friends and they know how much I love this. Whenever I go to some of their functions, when I was <coughs> single, before I got married, um, she would always make this for me, knowing that I love it so much. And now finally I get to make it myself, with the help of Auntie Faye. This is the fun part, adding our mayonnaise, the homemade mayonnaise. to get our eggs, the cooked eggs, and grate it on top of the... Doesn't get better than that. Look how easy it is to make and yet I didn't even bother trying all those years. Especially when I love it so much. I'll put these chunky things out. I think that should do it 
and we are going to put that in the fridge and let it set. Okay, our next salad, we have about three cups of chopped watermelon. Get that juice. One and a half cups of chopped cucumber. And two 50 grams of chopped feta cheese. And then all you do, it's mix them together. You can also add chopped red onions in the salad if you like. I will have half because one of my kids have trouble with onions. But I will show you the other half that has the chopped onions. I'll put aside one for him with no onions. And then I'll add the red onions. Now adding our chopped onions, that's about a quarter of the red onions, mix it up and there it is, there's our salad on the side to have with our mayonnaise and the barbecue. One with the onions and one without. Okay, let's go outside and start Looking our back, you will enjoy the salads that we prepared.